Teacher shortages in key subject areas within our public schools still remains a challenge within the public school system. President of the Bahamas Union of Teachers, Belinda Wilson, says up until last year, the shortages still existed. Additionally, she also touched on the issue of monies owed to teachers. 22 teachers that we were expecting for the new school year, for January actually, for this new year. So hopefully we'll be able to get them in the system. I know you always hear me talk about the millions of dollars owed to our teachers. I'm pleased to say that some of them were paid in November, some were paid in December. So we're happy about that. However, the balance of the payment, which really is the bulk of the payment, um, in my communications with the minister, they're looking forward to having them paid in short order. So I hope that I'll be able to give you some good news um, going forward. Actually, um, we're looking forward to some changes in education, definitely um, curriculum changes, and we want to have improvement going forward. Wilson says talks between the union and the Ministry of Education are going well and some additional plans, including a new bargaining agreement, are on tap for union members. We're going to be launching the union's first book, The History of the Bahamas Union of Teachers from 1947 to present. And I am very, very, very proud of that. And as you know, we have our new building in Grand Bahama. We're looking forward to expanding and building a new building here in New Providence. So, and oh yes, our new collective bargaining agreement. I've started the work on that proposal. So hopefully we'll be able to get that presented and submitted to the government within the next six to eight weeks.